Welcome to this MindView video tutorial introducing you to the MindView interface and how to generate and customize ideas. MindView makes it simple to get ideas out onto the page, organize thoughts and export into other formats such as Microsoft Office. In this example I'm just going to quickly show you how to make a mind map, how to add some content onto the mind map and introduce you to the interface. Let's start by clicking on New Mind Map. The interface of MindView is designed to look and feel like Microsoft Office, so it should be really simple for you to get started with the tool. There's lots of ways we can start generating a mind map. Let's imagine we're creating a research document about Marvel comic characters. To start generating branches, you can either use keyboard shortcuts, icons from the ribbon toolbar, or the mouse click. By pressing the insert key you create a branch at a new level of detail and then press enter to create branches at the same level. Mind mapping helps to break a big problem down into its smaller more manageable parts. It also helps to improve things like focus, memory recall as well as the ability to see the big picture as well as the detail. The structure of the mind map is broken down into two different ways. First, the hierarchy of the mind map, starting with the central idea exploding outwards, and then the sequence of information. The sequence is best visualized by turning on the numbering scheme in the ribbon toolbar. Notice now how the order of the information goes clockwise around the central idea. The drag and drop feature of MindView enables you to change this sequence by moving and dragging drop these ideas around the mind map. MindView enables you to start adding content onto all of these branches and there's no limit to how much stuff you put on an individual branch. Text notes, images, attachments, even sound files and video files can be embedded onto a branch. In this example, Let's imagine that we're actually writing the essay for each individual section on this mind map. This is where the text note editor becomes useful. First select the branch where you'd like to start adding the content and in this example we're going to select the text note editor. Notice when using the text note editor the ribbon toolbar at the top of the page has now changed to that of Microsoft Word. You can do all of your formatting directly in MindView itself. Once you've finished adding content onto the branch, you'll notice that paper clips will begin to appear. This just denotes that there is something embedded onto the branch. Hover over the paper clip and you'll see the unique icon and introduction to either the text or attachments. It's important to customize and personalize your mind map. Under the design tab, we have many different layouts as well as different styles to choose from. By hovering over the different styles, you'll see a preview of what that mind map is going to look like. Different styles are useful for different purposes. Mind mapping is a quick way of generating ideas, ordering information and starting to collate your content. To learn more about MindView, why not head over to our YouTube channel and watch more video tutorials.